Well, good morning, and welcome to our Godly Play session for today. Now, today is February the 14th, um, a special day for many people. And so I'm going to tell you a story that has something to do with what we celebrate today. Today we remember St. Valentine. The church remembers St. Valentine in the season of Epiphany, the time for the color green. But I wonder, why do we remember Valentine? Let's see. There was once a man named Valentine who lived in ancient Rome. He did not live in a fine house made of smooth white marble. He lived in rooms on a noisy street. He was a doctor. His rooms were full of medicines that he used to cure people. Many of them were herbs that he would crush in something that looked like this. Often he would go outside of the city to find the herbs and other things that he could turn into medicines to help people. Sometimes when Valentine helped people, they could not pay him. So he would accept something they had made, like a pair of sandals or a loaf of warm bread. What many people didn't know was that Valentine was also a Christian priest. This was kept a secret because at that time it was against the law to be a Christian. If anything bad happened in the city, they would blame the Christians and throw them in jail and sometimes even kill them. And so when Valentine prayed for his patients at night, he would do so quietly and with his door closed. One day, an old man and a little girl who could not see came to Valentine's rooms. Valentine knew that it would be hard to cure the little girl because she had been blind since she was born. But he would take some cool, wet cloths and put them over her eyes to try and bring her some comfort. The old man was the girl's father and he worked as a jailer in the big jail in Rome where he looked after the prisoners. They became very close. And when Valentine prayed at night prayed for his patience. He prayed for the little girl the most of all. Sometimes when the old man had to work at the big jail, Valentine would look after the little girl. They would go out into the fields outside of the walls of the city. They would pick the herbs for the medicines that Valentine would need. The girl especially loved those little flowers that would bloom first after winter in Rome. The crocuses. She would take them home and give them to her father. One day, Valentine heard a noise at his door. 
He hoped it was the old man and the little girl. But then the door came crashing open. It was the Roman soldiers. Somehow they had found out that he was a Christian priest. And they took him away to the big jail in the city where the old man looked after the prisoners. When the old man saw Valentine, he was shocked. He, he didn't know what to do. A few days later, the soldiers came back to take Valentine away. But he asked the old man to find him some ink and a pen and something to write on. When the old man came back, Valentine took the pen and dipped it in the ink and he took the paper and he, he wrote something on it. And then he gave it to the old man and asked him to give this to the little girl. And then Valentine put his hand on the shoulders of the old man and looked him in the eye and said goodbye. And the old man watched as the soldiers led Valentine away knowing that he would never see him again. That night when he got home, the old man told the little girl about Valentine and about the note that he had written. She asked him, what does it say? And so he opened the scroll. And a crocus fell out, and he read her the words, From your Valentine. While the little girl reached out to find the crocus, and then to her surprise, she could see it. We remember St. Valentine because he loved well for God. Now, I wonder what part of this story you liked the best. I wonder what part of this story is the most important part. I wonder if there's anything we could leave out and still have all the story we need. And I wonder where you are in this story or what in this story is just about you. You might want to discuss those questions with the people you are watching this with or just reflect on them on your own. What part of the story did you like the best? What part of the story is the most important part? Is there anything we could take out and still have all the story we need? And where are you in the story? What in the story is about you? Maybe next time you're in the Godly Play room, you will want to find the story of St. Valentine. It's it's over here. It's on the saints' shelves. We have 12 saints there, six boys, six girls, one for every month of the year. You'll find a little booklet there that will tell you about St. Valentine, where Rome is, where he lived, and the flag of the country that is Italy, where Rome is. It'll show you how many years ago he lived way back here in the first century. And then, if you want to remember the story, 
that's here as well. I thank you for joining me. Have a happy Valentine's Day. <laughs>